Hey, she's pretty cute. Who are you looking at? Quit gawking and let's go. Ow! Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. What do you think of that chick over there? Doesn't look like she really works out. I'm not talking about her muscles, you dummy! be a feast for the senses. One of your friends, Hoodle? There's history in the air here. I can smell it. I don't smell anything. Don't encourage him.
design of this equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. Looks like it was well worth coming out here to the ocean to fish, judging by your haul. Yeah, I can't complain with a catch like this. Dinner tonight's going to be a real good one. Hell yeah! What do you care? You're always happy as long as you're full. Not always. I mean, okay, yeah, sure. Having a full stomach is close to the maximum amount of happy I can be. But Kisara's cooking is just so amazing. Even you can't deny that. Well... Sorry for not being able to cook as good as her, then. What? That's not what I said at all. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you planning to do with that fish? Grill it? Turn it into a sashimi? Personally, my vote's for something spike. <sighs> Kisara? S sorry Can you, uh... Not talk to me? Right now? Hey, are you all right? Your face is as white as a ghost. It might be more accurate to say green. What happened? She was doing okay until just a few seconds ago. <laughs> Actually, I think I remember her mentioning at one point that she felt pretty seasick. But we've been out here for a while now. Maybe it doesn't hit her when she's concentrating on something. <laughs> I think that means yes? I'm sorry. I've never seen anyone look so ill before. Don't worry about dinner right now. You just get some rest, okay? I think it's safe to rest here now. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. This is quite the catch, if I do say so myself. Oh my gosh! That's a really rare species! a big one is that even a fish it's rather enormous for one is it not of course it is it's an orim arowana a freshwater species that makes its home in these parts it's quite the impressive specimen why i don't believe we ever had anything so large for dinner back at the palace that's because a fish like this is way too big to put on display at a formal dinner let alone one for a sitting lord you catch a giant fish, and all you can talk about is how you're going to eat it? What's wrong? You like eating too, don't you, Law? I can guarantee a fish this big is going to make for a good meal. 
Well, when you put it like that, I guess I am a little excited to dig into it and see how it tastes. Moments such as this are a good reminder of what I would have missed out on. I'm glad I decided to join you all on this journey. I may have once been a lord, but in truth, my insight into this world was rather limited. And that is, despite the myriad opportunities lordship ostensibly affords. Wish every Renin was as self-aware as you. Maybe then things wouldn't be so bad. Indeed. When I say Menencio was beyond lucky to have you as its lord, I really mean it. I'd even say it was miraculous. Now, as for that fish, I'm thinking I'll make some steaks out of it tonight. Oh, that sounds good! I can't wait! Miraculous. That's hardly the word I would use to describe myself. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. get here faster. Huh? Something smells nice. It's probably the accessory I picked up earlier. It uses materials that put off a pleasing aroma. came out so good. I almost hate having to eat it. Mind if I join you, Law? So, how's it been going? How's what been going? Come on, man. You know what I mean. How have things been with you and Shion? I had a feeling it was about that. Well, what about things on your end? No, we're not talking about me. I'd rather hear about you. I don't really have anything to share on that front. Don't be like that. You think I can't tell something's been going on? Look, I'm not the type to go blabbing about that kind of stuff. Give me a break. Don't keep secrets from me just because you're a little old. I'm not that old. I don't know, man. Lately, it seems like you start wheezing as soon as we get into a fight. That's some pretty big talk. You really want to try your luck with me? <laughs> what were we talking about before? It was... Uh... <sighs> well, it doesn't really matter now. <laughs> What's wrong? Did I hit your head too hard? No, man, you don't get it. You're really something, Alfin. What do you mean? Just you. How you always indulge me and help me work through my jumbled thoughts. Do I? Yeah, 
I always feel better after being with you. Even duking it out just now helped. <laughs> there you go again, making me out to be better than I really am. I'm not making you out to be anything. You can't stop me from admiring you, Alfin. You've got strange taste, then. Eh, I'm fine with that. I hope someday I can be there to lift you up, too. I don't plan on getting quite that old anytime soon. We should go again sometime. We should. I look forward to it. Let's make sure to kick ass tomorrow, too. Time to make you all proud out there, just like I always do. It's good to be back in familiar territory. I think Hoodle senses something. Isn't that all Madria's? So this is where her ship drifted. Then the one who wrote the letter is... Alive, but badly wounded. I doubt many of the others have survived. Let's survey the area. Must be easy to pick off the bad guys from far off. It is. I mean, aside from adjusting for movement, wind speed, trajectory. <laughs> See? Easy. rest here something in the water.
There's a nice breeze here. I hope we catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. Yeah. There we go. Wasn't much of a challenge. Guess it's important to stay calm. Where should I cast my line? But I'm not gonna quit now. Remarkable. You're top of the food chain. <clears throat> I've got something. That's not a fish I see often. There certainly are a wide array of fish on Dana. Hey, what do you think about that spot? Good idea. I'll go for that one. not a fish I see often. I don't recognize that fish. Is it okay to eat? Now where might those fish be?
I reeled us in a big one. That flapper was a true fighter. A tremor just now? you. Lord Tohalim? I figured I'd find you here, Kelzalik. You knew he'd be here? The handwriting on the note was all too familiar to me. Did you come all the way out here to mock me, or have you changed your mind about putting me to death? What if I had? You have no right. You who abandoned your lordly duties and chose to fraternize with embedded of all people. And for what? How could someone as powerful as yourself turn your back upon the crown contest? Not this again. I ran from this once, but I must face it now. The crown contest was never for me. I apologize for dragging you along, but I do not regret my choice in the slightest. <sighs> Listen to me, Kelzalik. People change. They can change given time, and regardless of their race. I know you're a capable man. You could do so much for others if you were so inclined. Me? Impossible! It's too late for me! Death! 
death closes in on me wherever I go. What? That's all Matrius. Is she alive too? Nothing more fearsome than a wounded beast, especially without its master. Well, I'm not leaving it to its own devices. Would you come with us? We can take you someplace safe. To where? Where could I possibly be safe from that? What are you talking about? We already took care of the monster. No! Death is immortal by its very nature. Even now it haunts me. It hounds me. The Silver Death curses me incessantly with its many faces, many voices! Don't follow me! Leave me be! Leave me alone! What's happened to him? Whatever it is, it seems we have read the situation wrong. He spoke of a Silver Death. Do you think he could be referring to the people back in Vicent that he hollowed? He did so at Almadria's urging. I'm sure that somewhere deep down, he felt guilt and remorse for what he did. It was easy to blame it all on Almadria while she was alive. 
But now that she's gone, he has no one left but himself to blame for his own misdeeds. He's alone with his guilt on this island. But it sounds like he lacked the mental fortitude to endure it. Makes sense. Sounds like just desserts to me. Almadria's monsters had nothing to do with it then. So he was a Renan, yet he regretted his part in the Danon's persecution. And now he's beyond help. Should we really just wash our hands of him, though? To be honest, it seems like he's punished himself far more than any punishment we could hope to mete out. <sighs> Dohalim. If I hadn't met all of you, I'd... No, even after that. If I hadn't accompanied you on this journey... It's entirely possible that might have been me. But you did. You're here with us now. And you didn't stumble upon redemption, Dohalim. This is the path you chose for yourself. Yes. I suppose it is. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Lady Fortune must truly be watching over oh, oh. For me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, oh. I sense a strange power from this. like we've assembled every single owl in Dana. You know, looking at them all, I think we very well may have. Talk about a spectacular sight. Yeah, His Majesty and Her Majesty both seem pleased as well. When she's all alone, her thoughts drift to sad places. I did all this so that she could have lots of friends and live happily ever after. Hey, I get a little grumpy sometimes. I'm interpreting for the owls, not talking about you. Well, at least Hoodle isn't alone anymore, right? Uh, right. Uh, hey, Hoodle? Huh? Hoodle, I think you should stay. Huh? If you keep traveling with us, it's going to be constant biting, and you'll be put in a lot more danger. This is a safe place, filled with lots of friends for you. <sighs> Plus, you can learn lots of new stuff with friends. Just like all the new things I've gotten to learn since I met Alfin and everyone else. All I could teach you is to jump from twig to twig. But now look at you. You're soaring to new heights. You can go wherever you want on your own now. So, stay here and be with your friends, okay? Are you sure about this? Hey, I didn't mean for you to... It's okay. I made up my mind. We stuck with each other for as long as we did because we had no one else to depend on. Now, it's for the best we stay among our own kind. Take care of yourself, Hoodle.
He's trying to say, I don't abandon my friends. Huh. Oodle has his own wings. If he wanted to leave, he could have left whenever he wanted to. He can come back to this place whenever he wants to. But right now, what he wants is to be with you. It's true that his own kind is here. And he knows that. But he won't know if you'll always be around, Rinwell. But... I mean... I think he's asking you whether you really want him to go. No! Of course I don't really want him to go! Hoodle's the only family I have left! <laughs> then it's settled. Poodle has a place to go home to whenever he wants, and that'll never change things between you. Are you sure about this, Hoodle? Take care of our friend. I pray your journey is a safe one. Okay, enough already. <laughs> You. Try to be nice to one another, your majesties. Well, what's the answer? Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll both take care of each other. I meant the owl's answer. <clears throat> Let's go, Hoodle! Magnificent! To think that we could ever amass such a stunning array of den and relics. What do you think? Not a single piece missing. Indeed. You and Law were especially diligent in finding them. You both have my gratitude. So, this means you don't need to become treasure hunters, right? Huh? What are you talking about? I mean, that promise you were talking about earlier. You know, with Dohalim? Oh, you mean the exhibit! Exhibit? Yeah. After collecting so many artifacts, we wanted to put them on display for people to see. Renans have stolen so much Dan in history, it feels only right to help revive it. However, the situation has changed. I think we should call off the exhibition. Huh? This collection deserves to have a permanent home. In other words, I propose that we open a museum. Oh, that's a great idea! I knew that you would agree. The relics seemed to boisterously applaud the idea as well. Not with that again. Still, that's quite the elaborate plan you two have hatched. Naturally, I trust that you'll handle the descriptions for each item, Rinwell. Of course! I've got a lot of research ahead of me. In that case, we should erect a research lab for your work. Really? That'd be great, Dohalim! What kind of research do you think you can do? More than you can, fists for brains. Thumbing through piles of books, looking up relic structure and material composition, oh, maybe even testing how they react to arts. And if necessary, I could always break them open and see what's inside. Uh, let's not get carried away here. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. And, you know, it'd be great if I could have an assistant. Someone who could run errands for me while I'm busy working. Huh? Well, you know, I could. It's good to dream big and all, you guys, but there's something you need to do first. You're right, of course. There's only one thing we should be concerned with right now, and that is... Cleaning up. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma
Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. We've reached our destination. Catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. Hmm? This feels like a big one. This fish is seriously rare. Oh my gosh, that's a really rare species. Kisara, that was amazing. Your rod was flashing like a sword. First this way, then that way, it was crazy. Indeed. That fish was quite fearsome in its own right. I applaud your tremendous skills in taming such an unwieldy beast. What he said when you slammed your foot down and gave it that... Rah! It got me so pumped! Yes, it was quite the impressive war cry, I must say. <sighs> anyway, um, what did you catch? Oh, oh, right. This is a silver marlin. The King of the Seas, as they call it. I wanted to try to catch one at some point while we were out at sea. It almost looks like a sword blade with that intense sheen. It really does. With a head as sharp as that, I bet you could fight with it if you had to. If you could properly wield it, that is. Bear in mind, the marlin is known to be rather heavy for a fish. Well, if anyone could, it's probably Kisara, right? I mean, hell, she reeled in the damn thing. Yeah. <sighs> N not that you aren't doing great already, Kisara. Your strength is often the only thing between our enemies and us. Yeah. Every time you lift up that shield, I'm glad you're on our side, Kisara. You're so stupidly strong, nothing can match your brute strength! Stupid? Brute? The only thing that could match it may be your sheer stupidity. What? Where'd that come from? <laughs> 